than mine. My elbow touching my toes. And how about you? Try. <laughs> Feet together and flex your foot. Feet together and flex your foot. Do not hold your foot, just touch your foot. Mm -hmm. No, we don't bend your knees. We don't bend your knees. You need to test yourself, test the level before we start. No? Okay, you know yourself, right? Because I say my level zero, level one, level two, level three, wrist, level four, forearm, level five, elbow. Anyone level five? No, except me, right? I'm good. <laughs> Okay, that's why it is important thing to know yourself first because I don't want you to follow me. I would like you to follow yourself. It is very important thing doing yoga come to know yourself, right? Are you ready to start everyone? Yeah. Please. Now turn yourself, go to plank position in yoga, please. Spread the arms. Shoulders above your wrist. This one, this is plank. Right? From plank, please, you're coming up into a downward facing dog position. Open your legs about your hip distance first and really push the floor away with both your hands. But up to the air. If you're feeling very tight in your hamstring or tight in your shoulders, please bend your knee and lifting your butt up to the air. That's it. And now go to plank again, please. And then chaturanga, lower your chest down between your hands. That's it. If you're too much, you lower your knee down to the floor first and lie flex on your stomach. Then your toes to relax. Inhale, upward dog. Lift your chest up. But you drop your shoulders away from your ears. Now tuck your toes and you're coming up to a downward facing dog position. But up to the air, of course. Time string or tight shoulders, please bend your knees and lengthen your spine. And now alternate knees bend and alternate heels down to the floor, please. Keep push the floor away with both your hands. Yes. And now you walk up between your hands, please. Walk up, walk, walk up between your hands. You bend your knees, no problem. Please. Bend your knees, keep your stomach and your chest touching to your thigh and your forehead down to your shin. Actually, I'm up in front, please. Inhales come all the way up. Exhale, palm in prayer. To begin, I would like to prepare yourself by warming up in yoga. They were saying like Surya Namaskar, that means salute to the sun, sun salutation. You stand on top of your yoga mat, please. Sing your hand down. Inhale, rest the arms up over your head. Actually, we open the arm out to the side. Right now, we don't have much space. Exhale, you bend forward from your hips, please. Bend your knees. And then you put both your palms flat beside your foot. Bend your knee, you can do. Big step, your right foot backward, please. Big step, your right foot back. Yeah, big step. Low your right knee down and then fingertips drop your hip forward. Release your palm flat and then you bring your left foot back up to downward facing dog position please. Open your legs about your hip distance first. Really push the floor away with both your hands. Lengthen your spine. Inhale go to plank or low both your knee down to floor. Exhale, Shakturanga Dandasana, please. Low your chest down between your hands and you lie flat on your stomach. Your toes relax. Inhale, upward dog, lifting your chest up. But drop your shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your toes, please, and then coming up to downward facing dog position. Yeah, but up to the air and push the floor away with both your hands. And now you step your right foot up between your hands or help with your right hand if you need to. Make sure your right knee is just above the angle jokes. Left knee down to floor, please, and fingertip. Drop your hip forward. And now your back leg, you tuck your toe like a runner in block style. Because easy for push and join your leg to the front, please. Stomach to your legs, uh, stomach and your chest touching to your thigh. And your forehead down to your shin. Eight the arm up in front. Inhales come all the way up. Let's both your arms up. Exhale, palm in front. Continue, please. Sing your hand out. Inhale, rest your arms up over your head. You look up. Exhale, fold forward from your hips. Bend your knee a bit and put both your palm flat beside your foot and your forehead down to your shin. Big step, your left foot backward, please. Lower your left knee down to floor and fingertip. Drop your hip forward. And then you bring your right foot back up to downward facing dog position. Open your legs about your hip distance first and really push the floor away with both your hands. 
Inhale, go to plank. All of us, you your knee to floor. Exhale, shift to Rangadangasana. Lower your chest down between your hands. Close the elbow and lie flat on your stomach. Toes relax. Inhale, up good dog. Wrap your chest up and drop your shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your toes, please, coming up into a downward facing dog position. But up to the air, push the floor away with both your hands. Then step your left foot up between your hands or help with your left hand if you need to. Right knee down to floor and fingertip. Drop your hip forward. And join your legs to the front. Stomach to your legs, please. Stomach and your chest touching to your thigh and your forehead down to your shin. Exhale the arm out in front. Inhales come all the way up. Exhale, palm in three. Samadhi. Is that right? Is that easy? <laughs> okay, so I would like you to understand. In the simple thing, this is they have everywhere. They have Sun Salu, Surya Namaskar. So two things, two areas, very important thing. So number one, if you are not level five, if you are not level five, when you are bent forward, do not lock your knee. This is a very important thing. I am level five, I am bent forward, I am lock my knee, look, and then my belly and my chest. Mm, touching to my leg, I'm good. Yes, right here, touching. So if you lock your knee, if you're not level five, look. Wow, this is feel so good, but not good at all. Why? Because your hamstring will say, hey, I'm not ready yet. And your back going to help you help your hamstring. And that is not going to improve in your hamstring. Look, if you're not level five, you should do it here. Bend knees, see? Stomach and chest touching, and hand not rest on the floor. But hand should be here. Push, you see? Push and forehead going down. If you cannot spread your legs, no problem. But here, never release. Stomach and chest touching. Try, please. Bend forward, bend your knee. Keep your stomach and your chest touching. And your finger and your toe should be the same line. Please bend your knee to keep your stomach and your chest touching to your thigh. And your finger and toe should be the same line. Out to the side, you look from the side here. Yeah. New new top and nail this up. Yeah, fingertips and your toes gonna be the same line. And you push and your forehead is going down to your shin as much as you can, but never release your stomach and your chest touching. Yeah, forehead is going down to your shin as much as you can. Okay, cup. Okay, cup and coming up. Yeah, coming up. See? Difficult now and then it will be easier in the future. Why? Because you're done helping your muscles. Let your muscles work by themselves. That is number one. And now number two. Number two is, do you know that word, facing dog, everyone? When you do yoga, you know that word, facing dog, right? And do you know how far? How do you check yourself? Why your that word, facing dog, aren't here? Why not here? Why not over there? And when we have doing that word, facing dog, we have different height. You know that? How far? Actually, people doing yoga, they do by the feeling. Oh, wow, I'm feeling good in my hamstring. Yes, I'm feeling good in my back. That's why I'm staying like that. You know what? The feeling, no stand up. You cannot measure the feeling. No need to waiting until you level five. It send you level zero. You can make a perfect downward facing dog today. And do you know, do we have the same? We have 206 bone that we have the same. So today, you can make a perfect downward facing dog, everyone. Look, this is, this is the perfect downward facing dog. If you measure yourself from here, Shoulders above your wrist in plank. If it plank here, look. Shoulders above my, my wrist plank, and this is the perfect downward facing dog. Don't move your feet, don't move your palm. So if you're feeling like, oh, oh, I'm not like you, I'm very tight in my back, no problem, you bend your knee. And this is fine, you see? When you go to plank, and then you go down to Chaturanga, it's no problem at all. Okay, right now, everybody please, you measure yourself from plank. Go down to plank right now. Shoulders above your wrist. Yeah, perfect plank, and then downward facing dog. Yeah, don't move your feet, don't move your palm. If you're feeling, no, don't move your hands up. If you're feeling very tight in your shoulders or tight in your hamstring, right? You bend your knees, bend your knee, and then you push the floor, bend your knee more. And then you're lengthening, yeah, bend your knee, and then you, ah, lengthening your back and lifting your tailbone up to the air, that's it. If, in case if you're very tight in your shoulders, you bend your knee. Bend your knee, and then you push the floor with both your hands. That's it, and then you're lengthening your spine. Good. Yeah, bend your knee a little bit, and then you can lengthen your spine here. Yeah, tailbone up to the air. That's it. Now go to plank again, please, everyone. 
Yeah, and then Chaturanga, lower your chest down between your hands. That's it. And then upward dog, lifting your chest up. Upward, upward, only your chest up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Good. And then coming up to a downward facing dog again. Really push the floor away with both your hands. Yeah. Going to plank. Small forward. This is plank and this is your downward facing dog. Yes. Yes. Okay, top everyone, sit down. Sit down, please. Take rest. Okay. So right now, the first foundation I would like you to know and understand is more to losing in the first area. We're saying like losing in your hip socket. And the second area, losing in your shoulder blade, scapula, two area, big area, very important thing to do yoga. So right now, you see when we walk and we run, we're doing like this, right? Half an hour, no problem. Why? Your muscle get used to it. So have you ever walked and run like this? No, right? So actually yoga, we need this one. Sometimes when we do yoga, step your leg and uh, uh, sometimes I'm not ready yet to do that. Then the muscle become tense and contract. Why? Because it, it's more than daily life. So right now, we have to bring our heart, send the circulation into that area by two areas. We have to do losing in your shoulder blades and losing in your hip socket by doing this. Look. This is the foundation, number one. I am measuring myself from plank, shoulders above my wrist, and then downward dog, I am bending my knee, tailbone up to the air, like this. Push and step, push and step, push and step, like that. Okay, everyone, let's try. You measure yourself from plank, your shoulders above your wrist, and after that, going back up to a downward facing dog, bend your knee, tailbone up to the air, push and step your foot outside your baby finger, and hips go down, that's it. Push and step outside your baby finger. Push and step. That's it. Let's alternate right and left. That's it. Keep going. Push and step. Yeah. When you go back to a downward facing dog, you bend your knee and lifting your tailbone up all the time. Yeah. Bend your knee, tailbone up to the air. That's it. Step your foot outside your baby finger. Just right and left. Good. And go. And go back to a downward facing dog. It's fine. Yeah. Not too far, you're too far back. It's from here. Find shoulders above your wrist. Walk forward more. Aha. Uh -huh. And then downward dog, bend your knee, tailbone up to the air. Bend your knees up, bend your knees. Push, and then you step your foot. That's it. Bend your knees. Push, bend your knees. Tailbone up, straight the arm. That's it. And step your foot. Yeah. Four more times, please. Yes. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, cut. That's number one. And now number two, please. Number two, the way we do, okay, look. For example, when we do yoga. Where, when we do yoga, is this one, right? Udita Paswa Gonasanas. Or even join your hand under your legs. Sometimes when we do yoga, we're feeling like, uh oh, I'm not ready yet to do that. But if no chance, I have to follow my yoga teacher. Right? Sometimes we try to do, feeling like my arm is not long enough. And you know what? Uh, today I would like to go in back deeper than this one by learn how to build, not learn how to do. How to build number two, we have to loosen these muscles. This is we call pectoralis minor. You know that? Pectoralis minor. So actually this muscle is very tight, it's very strong because activity we do to the front. So right now I would like to opening it, this area by doing this. Everyone, as you sit down, can you please extend the arm out? Like this. Extend the arm up. And your baby finger pointing forward and your arm behind your ear. That way. That way. Yeah. But do not bend your elbow. Bend your elbow and behind your ear. Look, this is going to be number two. To make many asana better. Okay, look. Plank. Downward dog. I am bending my knee. Tailbone up again. Push. Step. Arm up. Hips down. Push. Step. Arm up. Hips down. Because when you're doing this one, right? And then in the future. In the future. In the future. Many things you can do because if you're losing this pass and this pass, please let's try. Yeah, measure yourself from plank, your shoulders above your wrist again. And then coming up into a downward dog, bend your knee, tailbone up to the air. Push, step your foot outside your baby finger. Same foot, same arm, arm up, hips down. That's it. Go back to a downward dog. Push, step, arm up, hips down. That's it. That's it. Push, step, arm up, hips down. Same foot, same arm, up in front. Yeah, baby finger pointing forward. Good one. Yeah, every time you go back to a downward dog, you bend your knee. Why? 
because you act the flexibility into your shoulder blades. Yeah, step your foot outside your baby finger. Good. Yeah. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, come, come back up to a downward dog. Yeah, and then both your knee down to the floor. Sit on your heels. Sit down, please. Okay, that is number two. And now number three. Number three, have you ever heard when they do yoga, they were saying like, lock mula bandha, or using mula bandha. Do you know that? <laughs> mula bandha is in Tai Chi Chi Gong. They will say dan tian, dan tian. In uh, Pilates, they will say powerhouse. In boxing, they were saying like banda, but yoga, mula banda, very deep. So I would like to use in this area now by building like this. Look, I show you for your inspiration. This is number three. Okay, please everyone doing like me. What? Right. Huh? right. So this is, I show you the top of pyramid. So actually when we do yoga, if the yoga teacher, they were teaching you like how to do. They were teaching how to, okay, try to step your leg, bend the elbow and lifting up with some time, you know clear everything, but why I cannot? Maybe my yoga teacher teaching clear, I understand everything, but why my body cannot? Why? Because our body is not ready yet. So this is number three, learn how to build, not learn how to do. Look, do you know plank? Yeah? Do you know that word? Facing dog already, right? I am bending my knee again, and then when you go to plank, look at my back, I engaging the core, and then the touch, and go back. Push, plank, and touch, if you don't have more space, you touch only here. If you have more space, you touch over there, because in the future, easy to get up that one, right? So right now, it touch, go back to downward dog, bend knee, push, plank, and touch. Push, plank, and touch, only that one. But don't kick each other. Yeah, measure yourself from plank, that's it. And then up to a downward dog, bend your knee, push, and then go to plank. Yes, touch with your heels, don't hurt the floor. That's it. And then go back. Push, bend your knee, table up, plank, and touch. Yes, yeah, straight your leg. If you don't have much space, you touch only outside the mat, and then that's it. Yeah, engaging the core is make sure when you bring your leg touch to the side, your shoulders should be above your wrist. Yes, yeah, straight your leg out to the side. Push, plank, and touch. Yes. Yeah, touch the floor, engaging the core. Touch with your heels, possible? Touch with your heels. Yeah, that's it. When you go back to double dog, every time you bend your knee, very good. Yeah, and then you bend your knee again, push, because you add the flexibility into your shoulder blade. That's very good. Yeah, four more times. Touch with your heels, straight your legs. Three more. Good, don't hurt the floor. Two more. Yeah, last one. Okay, come, come back and take a rest. Sit down. Have you ever done something like that before? No? <laughs> never this one. You never this one? <laughs> Have you done something like this? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's good. And then number three. And now number four. Number four, we work for your obliques, the size of your body. So for example, some asanas, some asana, not all, not many asanas, some asana of oblique is working, it's coming ready. For example, we do this one, right? So if you learn how to do, put your hand down and chip body back to the side. This is we learn how to do. But sometimes clear, but I cannot. <laughs> and now, today, I will teach you how to build, not how to do. How to build. This is number four. Look. Plank again. One, two, I pull my knee toward my nose. Three, I am turning. Look at my back leg. And then four. Here. So, one, two, three, and four. Yeah. When number three is there, when number three, you see number one here, number two, you pull your knee toward your nose, number three, you turn your back leg, and then number four, you touch to the floor, closing to your baby finger, up here. Touch, touch with your heel, closing to your baby finger, right to the left, and left to the right. That's it. And then you go back, one, bend your knee, turn one up, two, you pull your knee toward your nose, Three, you turn, and then four, you touch to the floor. 
That's it, closing to your baby finger with your heel, touching to the side. Yeah, four step. One. One. Bend knee, two, pull your right knee toward your nose. Three, turn to the left. No, 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 touch to me. Touch to me this way. Yeah, and then four, touch here. No, no, touch here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so one, two, three, and four. Right to the left and left to the right. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Push, pull, turn, and touch. Is you too far, sir? You have to measure yourself from plank. Okay. Otherwise, even too far, it's not easy to do. Yes, your shoulders above your wrist as you do. That's it. And then one, you bend your knees. Two, pull your knee toward your nose. Three, turn. Four, touch. Yes, that's it. Two more times. Yeah, that's good, man. Ah, oh, better. Yeah, last one. Okay, cuff and come back. Sit down. Is that right? Totally different than, than you normally do, or you're just dreaming to do, right? Have to say like that. So even that like, simple thing yoga when we do, like we have to do like sun salus, standing asana, back bend, forward bend, shoulder stand, chavasana, namaste, gone. That's the routine everywhere like that. So this is different than the routine that you dreaming to do. So right now. That is number four. Now number five. Number five, you work for small group muscles and dancing. This is an important thing to do. I know you know this asana if you do yoga. What asanas? They would say like back asana, look. Hmm. Right. Many people can do this. Can do this asanas. Is that wrong? I say no, it's not wrong. Why? Because you cannot continue to another asana when you just train only this one. So if you're building, then you can train, you can continue to chaturanga, you can continue to handstand, it's no problem in the future. So if you learn how to build, not learn how to do. So sometimes people, they learn how to do. Are you sure? I'm gonna fall down, I'm gonna break my wrist, I'm gonna blah, 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 many reasons. You know what? Sometimes people in the gym, the face look unhappy, but they're happy when they're lifting. Why? Because their mind said already like, oh, when I do like this, good for my chest. I do like this, good for my shoulder. And they lift many times. Look unhappy, but they're very happy. But yoga, are you sure to do this? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, your body weight. Be sure, understand, if you learn how to build. When you build, you sure, you are building already. You're building your muscle already, and you use no problem at all. Look, this is number five. Learn how to build. Plank, downward dog, step, step, knee, touch, step back, or hop, up, knee, touch, hop, back. See, down and down and touch, lean body on it. Very lightweight on toe, but don't break your toes. You have to engage the core. Try. Measure yourself from plank, and then downward dog, push, and then step or hop up to you. One and the other, or both in the same time is up to you. Try. Step. Yeah. Yes, keep your palm flat. Keep your palm flat. <laughs> Just one and the other, or both in the same time is up to you. Keep your palm flat to look closer. Yeah, keep your palm flat. And then you bend the elbow, and then you lean your body on it, and then you go back. Push. Yeah, step, step. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Very lightweight on your toe. Good. And then you hop back. Or step back up to you. Back to a downward dog. Bend your knee every time. That's it. Push. And step. Step. Yeah. My hands can make my feet. Uh -huh. Because you have very, you, you, you know what? You have very tight in your bra, you have very tight in your inner thighs muscle. But no problem, it cannot touch it. You have to bend the elbow and then you can, yeah, bend the elbow and then you bring your, yeah. Yeah, push, right, and bend the elbow here. 
Because then the elbow. Uh, no, no, you can't. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's why. Open, open wider. It's wider. You can set. No, no. Here, try one and the other. One and go out. And there. Step, step, step. Don't hop. Step. Yes. Another come. Why not? Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you could do one leg at a time? Huh? You could do one leg at a time. Yeah, one at a time is fine. Okay. One and the other, that is building. Right. You see, one and another is coming. That's it. And then you bend the elbow and lean your body on it. it you uh, have like very light weight on your uh, toes. That's it. Okay, come and go back. Okay, come sit down. Sit down. Take it. That's number five. Is that right? Too much? No? Easy. Good. <laughs> just, just, just know your limit and then that's it. And one and the other, that's what we do. And that's number five. Another 55 more number. I have totally 60 numbers. This is the new one. This is the new style of doing yoga. I am teaching Ashtanga yoga for many years. Vinyasa yoga also, that's what I am teaching. So right now, this is the foundation style. The foundation, I have 60. We have 60 different foundation. Which asana, as you know, they always have the foundation. When we do yoga, we try to do the top of pyramid, we try to do the pose, but we don't know how to build, right? We try to get up into the pose only. So this is, I will teaching you to do, not going up into the pose, but learn how to build. One foundation, many top of pyramid you can do, but sometimes one top of pyramid, many foundation to build, for example, if you need to do a handstand, handstand, you know handstand, right? Many foundation to build to going up into a handstand, right? So that is number five, and now number six. Number five, I call the, I call the small frog, the little frog. That number five, because number six, I call the big frog. What big frog look like? Look, this is number six. Plank, downward dog, bend my knee, tail going up to the air, and. Pew. Mm. Mm. Ah. That is number six. Then I show you the top one. So if you learn how to do, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> sometimes sure they better learn how to do. So I am teaching how to build, build, build how to do that one better. This is number six. Look, plank again, downward dog again the same. Look, step, 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 butt up and down, push or hop up. Hop back. Oh, hop it too much. Ah, this is okay. And then put up here, okay? And go back. You know what, everyone? Sometimes people, when they're doing with me, they're feeling like, teacher, I get stuck. How can I go back? I say, no need to go back. You're standing up. And then you restart again. It's fine. Right. Please start. Measure yourself from plank. Your shoulders above your wrist. Yeah, and then up to a downward dog, bend your knee, tailbone up to the air, push, and up to you, to bring your heel, passing your wrist forward, step or hop is up to you, yeah, to bring your heel, passing, passing your wrist, passing, yeah, when it's passing already, you're lifting your hip up, your yeah, head down, that's it, ah, and then you go back, yeah, we need many repetition, to losing in your roi, losing in your inner thigh muscles, that's it, just move, and then go back to a downward dog, bend your knee, tailbone up to the air. Yeah, good. One and the other, or both in the same time, or many steps, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lifting your hips up high. Good. Okay, take rest. Step number six. One 
you build when you build the foundation, many asana that you can do. I know we're talking about that. Is that right? Or too much already? No? It's okay? Are you remember? Yeah. Oh, you remember that? <laughs> In doing yoga with me, you don't need to remember my names, but you have to remember why you do that and doing for what? What are you good for? It's like I follow this guy everything because he's a yoga teacher. I say, hey, we all have here the thing about yes or no when we practice in yoga. So understand yourself, why you do and what it affect to you. What is good for you and then that's it. And then number seven. I'll be giving you for uh, seven numbers today. Otherwise, by giving a lot, you will return to me everything. <laughs> now number seven. Number seven, we work for the whole side of your body. I was saying I work for your last latissimus and work for external, internal, all the muscles and work for your posterior lift over. So this is going to be number seven. Look. Some top of pyramid of number seven again. Plank. Downward dog. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right. How to do. Oh, yeah, that, that how to do, right? So right now is how to build, not how to do. How to build is better because your muscle is being ready and then you can do it by your own fine. Look. Plank, double dog, step, step, and twist, toe up. Push, step, step, and twist. But keep palm flat to the floor. I am twist with my heels, you see? Push, step, step, and twist. Try. That's for your trunk flexibility. Measure yourself from plank and up to a double dog. Bend your knees, tailbone up. Right side, right leg go first. Yeah, and left leg follow. And then twist with your heel. Toes up, man. Toes up. Aha. Yeah. Twist with your heels. Toes up. Push. Step. Step. And twist. Your right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Oh. Yeah, step, step, and twist. Landing by your toes you and twist with your heel. Toes, That's it. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. You step out with your toes, step out with your toes, and then as you twist, you twist with your heels. That's it. Keep your palm flat. Yeah. And you go back to the outer toe. Yeah. And twist. Keep your palm flat. That's it. And you twist. Keep your palm flat to the floor all the time. Yeah. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, <laughs> something you know, <laughs> something you never done. That is a good one. It's new for your area. Yeah, yeah, I can feel your body is right now as you do that. Yeah, yeah. Step, bend your knee, and then you twist, bend your knees. That's it. Good. Yeah. Two more times, please, everyone. Two more times. Yeah, keep your palm flat. Uh -huh. Last one, please. Okay, can go back. Sit down. It's all right? Try. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so right now, everyone, please, this is they have, I would like you to do a symbol, back to do a yoga. So actually, it's uh, yoga they have, but another exercise they don't have, I have to say, like back bending. Because it's very important thing doing yoga, we should have is back bending. Because back bend they have in yoga and gymnastics. Gym workout, swimming, or whatever, uh, tennis, they don't have. So this is, I was saying, like, I always say, people doing yoga, you can walk upright until you eat it. Years of don't don't trust me <laughs> because I have to say if you're doing yoga because they have back bend. This is the back bend in yoga, please everyone. Preparing yourself, you can do like interlock your finger under your back and lifting hips up high like this. Now this is the back to a normal basic thing to do this one, right? Squeezing shoulder blade in. But if you can do the three one coming up, always say this one love. I am measure myself. I touching my heel, toes in, hand behind. Number one. But up. Number two, push, not throw on my head, but top up my head down. Number three, all the way up, right here, straight it up. 
And then when you finish, chin in, bend the elbow, and go down. Try. Because right now your body warm, yeah, three steps to coming up, very good. Yeah, three steps to coming up, and get yourself. So even too much, just interlock your finger to your back, it's fine. It's up to you, you know yourself. Is that a very important thing? Yeah. If you are interlock your finger, possible, join your palms together, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades in, and your forearms down to the floor. That's it. You yeah, lower your forearm down. Yeah, if you want to try the full one, you do the full one. Yeah. Yeah, three step. That's it. And step three, breathe in, breathe out, push up. That's good. Yeah, just breathe. Yeah. You are, your hand is not close to your ears, a little bit further from your ear. Aha. Uh -huh. And then close the elbow in a bit. Aha. Uh -huh. One, two, top of head down. And then three, breathe in, and then breathe out, you push up. Yes, that's it. If it's too much, just interlock your finger to your back. Yeah, step two, and then step three. You push yourself up. Yes, right, and breathe. Yeah. And if it interlock your fingers, you have to squeeze in your butt cheek and lifting your hips up high. And possible interlock your finger and join your palms together. And you bring your shoulder blades in and in and in. <laughs> if it's too much, just interlock your finger and your back is fine. Yeah, squeeze. Hmm? Yes, right? And you close your elbow in. No, 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 no. Yeah. Close your elbow in. And then top of the head down. Not draw on your head, not draw your head like the ball. You're pushing yourself and top up your head down to the floor, not draw on your head like the ball. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Pushing up the top of your head down, not draw on your head. <laughs> Look. One, two, ah, right. and three, right? That one. Close your elbow. Uh -huh. One. Okay, everyone, please pull both your knee toward your chest now. Pull both your knee toward your chest. Pull it. Yeah, rocking, small rocking, side to side. It releases in your lumbar spine. Okay, come and row up to sitting position. Please row up to sitting. Row up. I would like you to using the towels, please. And you hold opposite corner of your towels. Hold opposite corner of the towels. Because make the towels is longer, right? When you hold opposite one. And you're rolling it. And then you hold your left foot. And straight up to the ceiling. Please be lying your back. Hold your left foot. Other leg back. Yep. Everyone, this is okay. I'm going to adjust or touch your body. Do you allow me to do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Thank you. Please, you check yourself. Is this important thing? You straight your leg, right? Mm -hmm. And your big toe between your eyebrow or between your sternum. Mm -hmm. That one. And then you pull your left hand side a bit stronger. And you flex your foot. Mm. That one. Where do you feel? Mm? Where do you feel? Yeah, here. That's it. Behind your knees or into your calf muscles or into your hamstring. Big toe between your eyebrow, and you pull your left hand side stronger. Hip sinks down, and you flex your foot. That one, yeah. And breathing. Just contract here. Your quadriceps. That's it. Good. Yeah. Flex your foot. And you flex your foot. You feel more in your calf muscles. Yeah. Pull outside hand. Pull your left hand side. It's stronger. The towel is too short. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have the same side. <laughs> okay, just pulling. Oh, where where do you feel? That's it. It's right into the right place. If you're feeling your ear, then I am to saying like, please, you stop. It's nice. Yeah. Straight your legs, please here. And flex your foot and lock your knee. Right, you pull your left hand a bit stronger than your right hand. Uh -huh. Your big toes keep staying, keep staying. Your big toes between your eyebrow. Where? Uh. Your legs, hamstring, calf. That's it. Right? Straight your legs. Okay, now everyone, please 
Still the same leg, still the same leg, but you grab and you cut uh, the towels with your left hand, please. And your right arm, you open out. Please lower your left leg down to your left side. Okay, knees. This right. That's it. This is work for your inner thighs muscles. Can you bend me? Can you bend me? This is work for your inner thighs muscle. Please stretch your legs out to the sides. Nice. Where do you feel? That's it. Your inner thighs muscle, hip adductor. Do you feeling that? That's it. Just breathing. Don't changing your face color. <laughs> Otherwise, if you hold the breath, <laughs> your face color is going to change. <laughs> okay, everyone, please. Lifting your leg is up. Still the same leg. Still the same leg. And you're changing your hand. Grab the towels with your right hand now. And your left arm open out, and now you walk your knee first. That's it. Keep both shoulder blades down to the floor, changing your hand, hold the towels with your uh, right hand, and lower your left legs down to your right side. This is ITB, hip adductor. Uh, but your soles is turned out to the side. Does that mean you pull at the towel to your baby toe a little bit stronger? Keep both shoulder blades down to the floor. That's it. Yes, sir. That one. That one. That one. Where do you feel? Like here? Yeah, is that your ITB hip abductor? Oh, okay. Is that to the size you work? Yeah, you sew up your foot, it's out that way. Yeah. Oh. Something I put another one to kind of change to the green color. <laughs> okay, everyone, please same leg again. Please, you lifting your right. Ah, uh, sorry, lifting your left leg is up, and now you bend your left knee toward the armpit. Bend your knee, bend your knee, and then two hand hold your foot. Two hand, two hand, and your heels above your knee, and your knee down into the armpit, please. That's it. Knee to the armpit. Yeah and your heels above your knee. That's it. And pull your knee. Bend the elbow and pull your knee down and down. Please. That one. Yeah. And this is your heels. This is your knee. Heels above your knee. That way. That's it. Okay, everyone. Release your legs down to the floor. Release your leg flat. Listen, listen to yourself. Pain stay with you. Pain is gone now. Stay or gone? Pain. Gone. Gone already, right? Yeah? Lucky we have two legs. Other legs? Yes. Check side. Yeah, hold your right foot. And straight up. Yeah, big toes between your eyebrow. And pull your right hand side a bit stronger. Ow. Ow. Toes in. Lock your knee, that one. Oh. And breathing. All right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It's pain, right? Yeah. You, yeah. If you're not sure, now everyone, if it's really painful, if you're not sure, you release to check yourself. When you release it, pain is gone. It's fine. So when you release it, pain stay with you. Don't do it. That is too much. So you listen to yourself, even not sure, I mean, you have to check yourself like that. Okay, everyone, please, you grab the towels with your right hand now, and then left arm open out, lower your right leg down to your right side, please. Straight your leg. Yeah, lower your right leg down to your right side. That's it. That's work for your inner thighs muscles. Straight your legs. Lock your legs. That's it. One hand only, sir. Grab only your right hand. Left arm open out to the side to make it balancing. That's it. Good. And now lifting your right leg up again and change your hand, hold the towels with your left hand now. And right arm open out again. Straight your leg. And lower your right leg down to your left side. Straight your legs. Make your knees as far as you can. And the sole of your foot facing out to the side. That means you pull a towel to your baby toe a bit stronger. 
That means you pull the top one a bit stronger. Keep both shoulder blades down to the floor. Yeah, and your eye look opposite your leg. That's it. Yeah. Okay, cap everyone. Lifting your leg is up. And now bend your knee toward your armpit. And two hands hold your foot. And your heels above your knee. Other legs down to the floor as much as you can. Keep it flat to the floor. But make sure your heels above your knee, please. Yeah, push your knees down. Okay, cup, everyone, release your legs here. and take a rest. Relax. Take a rest. Make it easy. Take it easy. Slowly moving your toes and moving your fingers, please. And join your legs together. Rest both your arms up over your head. Bend both your knees. Drop both your knees down to your left side. Bring both your knees back and you drop both your knees down to your right side. And turn your bodies, lie down on your right side. Using your left hand, you push to the floor. You come up from the sides to sit in this position. Okay. Any of you have any question? Please. Any question? No? You can no question? Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you for joining my classes. Hope you learn something different than you normally do from different your partition. Oh. <sighs> 
ู่แล้วลารถคิวแล้วเหนื่อยมากคุณไม่ออกเป็นโยคะที่วิวสวยมากๆนะครับเราอยู่ตรงนั้นพาไปดูทีคุณเจ๊ชอบรถไหมคะเรียกรถให้นะครับไปที่ร้านอาหารนะครับไปไหนคะไปเบรคฟาสครับขอบคุณครับที่ที่เราโยคะกันนะครับโยกะโยกะว้าวสวยสุดสุดมาดูมันรอรถนะครับผมเหนื่อยเลยว้าวไลฟ์ทั้งวันเบื่อเปล่าแต่แบตหมดนะเน็ตหมดเน็ตหมดด้วยรถมายังรู้สึกรถจะมาแล้วสวัสดีครับพี่ไปเบรคฟาสต์ครับไปเบรคฟาสต์ครับที่นี้บางทีมันเยอะครับโอ้โหเหนื่อยมากไม่คิดว่าจะเหนื่อยออกขนาดนี้มีอากาศแต่เราเป็นช้าเนาะต้องไปอับแดดทุกคนอยากโยคะเหมือนผลิตไหมครับเดี๋ยวเราจะไปสอนให้เพราะว่าตอนนี้เริ่มเริ่มทําได้ตอนนี้คือหิวเลยเออผมออกเดี๋ยวที่นี่ก็มีที่ชาร์จแบตนะครับเพราะผมลืมเอาที่ชาร์จแบตมาครับที่หน้าร้านมันจะมีครับพอไลฟ์ตลอดแบตนะครับครับเดี๋ยวเราไปทานข้าวกันนะครับพาทัวร์ว่าเราจะนอนเล่นตรงนี้ก่อนแล้วค่อยไปทานข้าวนะครับเพราะว่าดูวิวโอ้โหอ,อยากให้ทุกคนมาอยู่ตรงนี้ด้วยกันจังเลยช่วยหาที่ชาร์จแบตให้หน่อยได้ไหมครับเป็นอันซัมซุงครับเย้เพามาเที่ยวกันเนาะไม่เบื่อกันเนาะแบบว่าเหมือนมาเที่ยวด้วยกันเลยอะไรเงี้ยแต่ก็มีความเหมือนคนบ้าพูดคนเดียวโอ้โหตรงนี้คือน่านั่งมากอะ่ะ
คืนนี้คงจะต้องมานั่งดูสิแล้วดูวิวดินี่คือที่เบรกฟาสต์นะครับสวัสดีครับ,รบนั่งไหนของท่านนะครับไม่ไม่ทราบว่าเด็กจองตรงไหนไว้หรือเปล่าเอ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อาที่ที่ไหนไม่รู้ครับแต่ว่าเราจะไปกินกับไม่เป็นไรครับเอาแดดเป็นน้ำสปาร์คลิงขวดเล็กนะคะแดดแล้วก็เป็นรับจูดอะไรดีคะเป็นน้ำส้มน้ำเอ่อมีน้ำมะม่วงไหมนี่ค่ะชากาแฟยังไม่หลับเย้ให้ดูวิวรอบๆไปนะครับก่อนที่จะขออนุญาตไปทานอาหารแล้วก็ชมวิวมีทั้งสองฝั่งนะครับคือทะเลตรงนี้กับทะเลตรงนี้นะครับถ้างั้นเดี๋ยวขอตัวไปทานอาหารก่อนนะครับแล้วเดี๋ยวจะมาไลฟ์ใหม่เดี๋ยวเราว่าเราจะไปสปาต่อโอเคบ๊ายบาย